and welcome to today's episode of doing something different with money every day. So today's topic may do something strange to your brain. <laughs> if you've ever been in the same situation as me, this is my fifth take of filming this and it's just such a big topic, I'm not quite sure where to start. And that topic is debts or past expenditures. I'm using that term, it's a tool from Access Consciousness and it's a tool that's designed to help you avoid all the weird blah, energy that we often have with the word debt, which have you noticed sounds a lot like the word debt? Aha! So, I could talk for hours on this topic, I have a lot of past expenditures I'm clearing, but the thing I'm going to just show you in today's video to keep this nice and short and sweet is that I am taking pieces of paper and my past expenditures might recognize this tax bill <laughs> and I'm going to write on them this bill is fully paid now I'm just gonna do that Can you see that so why am I doing that well I realized recently thanks to a good friend of mine that whilst I might in the grand scheme of things wish to clear all my past expenditures and no longer owe money to people in my day-to-day -day life, it's a different story. In my day-to-day -day life, I don't really like thinking about those bills and those past expenditures. I don't really like making the payments. And I tend to feel a bit of a grudge towards all of it. Even though some of those past expenditures have helped to create brilliant things in my life. So, a friend said to me, I'm bored, Sandy, of you not wanting to pay me back now. Pay me back, please. <laughs> it was a bit of a kick up that uh, and it made me realize that she was right somewhere in my world I didn't want to pay her back and that really made me have to look at myself in closer detail and to realize what was actually going on so what was going on well basically I've been holding on to my money and not wanting to pay people back and what does that create in the long run well it creates less and less money to hold on to because when you're holding on to it somewhere you're coming from the point of view that there's not enough money out there and that if you do have to pay this debt back you're going to have less money whereas the point I'm making in this challenge is that there are actually unlimited amounts of money out there. we know that there are unlimited amounts of money out there then paying a bill is just paying a bill it's just another reason to create money another reason to receive money to be given money so what I'm doing with all my bills is I'm writing the same phrase on them and I'm committing to actually paying them because kind of like with the investment I talked about in this episode until we really decide and really choose and demand to do something then nothing is going to happen because we're putting zero energy into it and I've been putting almost zero energy into my past expenditures I have been paying certain ones back and I've cleared some of them but you know I'm making really small progress and I know I could be just going so my target is to start going and to really clear all these past expenditures so I just finished going through all my past expenditures it took me quite a while I just wanted to add a little PS because I noticed that as I got to the end of it I started to feel more and more relieved and more and more like wow if I actually did have all of this cleared and I didn't owe any of this money anymore I'd feel pretty amazing so I'm now asking the universe to help create this energy in my life because I don't think I've ever had that energy before <laughs> I've been in debt for as long as I can remember, since I was about 17, and I grew up around debt. So I, I literally don't really know what it's like to live debt free. So taking each and writing, this is fully paid now, it's given me a really amazing sensation. The sensation of not being in debt. So that's quite a powerful tool because I can now use that as a benchmark, as a target for what I'm heading for. So it feels really great, just wanted to add that in case uh, it could help you as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>